Senator Markey. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, very much. Um, Mr. Abraham, uh, in your testimony, you spoke about the importance of human rights and standing up for universal values. My colleagues and I, we sent a letter to President Biden before the U.S. ASEAN summit in May urging the president to place democracy, good governance, and human rights as key items on the summit's agenda. I was disappointed that despite the importance the president said he will place on human rights and democracy in U.S. foreign policy, these issues were marginalized during the summit. So if confirmed, uh, what would you do to elevate the importance of human rights and concerns about democratic backsliding amongst ASEAN member countries? Senator, thank you for uh, the question. And I share your concerns ar around um, human rights and de democratic backsliding in the region. Uh, if confirmed, uh, first and foremost, I will not hesitate to speak with interlocutors around the region uh, about our human rights and or governance concerns. Um, I would also work with, uh, in both public and private forum, I would also work with uh, the uh, mission staff to ensure that the, the U.S. ASEAN uh, mission's uh, tracking and monitoring capabilities as it relates to human rights concerns uh, may, uh, remain robust. And I would uh, hope to work in close partnership with my colleagues, uh, my bilateral colleagues in uh, missions around the region on individual countries' concerns. I'm deeply concerned about the lack of progress in implementing the five-point consensus developed by ASEAN member countries, particularly with regard to engagement with all parties in Burma, including the National Unity Government. If confirmed, uh, how would you engage with ASEAN to make progress on addressing the deteriorating human rights situation in Burma? Senator, first, first and foremost, uh, if confirmed, uh, uh, addressing really the, the, the horrifying and deteriorating situation in Burma would be a top priority of mine. Um, uh, I would push for, uh, 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 and I would robustly push for uh, the implementation of the Five Points Agenda, and I'd also look to work uh, with uh, colleagues around the government on how, how, what other tools we can bring to bear to change the regime's calculus and, and begin to move the country back towards uh, a multi-party uh, democracy that would certainly be uh, in a way that built on the uh, has built on the, the administration's use of the tools that Congress has granted them so far. Okay, I want to stay with uh, Burma. Go to you, uh, Ambassador Godek. Um, uh, revenue from dirty fossil fuels continues to line the Burmese military's coffers. According to Human Rights Watch, Thailand's state-owned energy company PTT purchased about eighty percent of Burma's exported gas. I've repeatedly called for the United States to take a page out of the EU's playbook and sanction the Myanmar oil and gas enterprise. Ambassador Godek, do you agree that we need to work with Thailand to reduce its reliance on natural gas from Burma and to reduce the Thai government's continued financial support of the Burmese military? Thank you um, for the question, Senator. Um, I just want to emphasize, as I did in my opening statement, that the um, Burmese regime continues to carry out, carry out horrifying uh, atrocities, and um, it is critically important that uh, this stop. Uh, we have supported uh, ASEAN in the five-point uh, consensus, uh, but there's not enough progress, clearly. In fact, there is no progress at all, and, and it needs to happen. We have worked uh, with Thailand, um, Burma, and the Burmese regime's uh, horrifying actions have been a, a top issue in discussions with, uh, with Thailand. Um, certainly the Secretary, many other officials have raised this. We are seeking ways with the Thai to increase the pressure on the Burmese regime. Uh, all options are on the table. Uh, that includes uh, further action in the oil and gas sector. And, Senator, I would commit to, to working very hard on this matter if confirmed. We appreciate some of the things that Thailand has done on the humanitarian side, but clearly more pressure needs to be brought to bear in new ways. It's all to about oil and gas everywhere on the planet. <laughs> it's about the, the, the dough. It's a critical that issue, Senator. I agree. These authoritarian regimes are able to extract from oil and gas. Then they do their evil deeds with that dough. So every time we see it, we know what the answer should be. And if we take strong action, then we'll probably extract the results that we're looking for. And with that, I'll just ask my final question over to Mr. DeMore, uh, Ms. DeMore, and Fiji. 
and the impact climate change was having upon Fiji and what actions we should be taking in order to assure them that we're on their side and we'll be there to help them. Thank you very much for the question, Senator, and thank you for focus on that region. Um, the question of climate change, mitigating climate change, is an existential issue for these nations. They are the most vulnerable uh, around the world given their low-lying areas. We, there, the Biden-Harris administration has made it a top priority for addressing the region, um, mitigating the effects of climate change, assisting them with a clean energy transition. All of those, if confirmed, would be focused for me uh, in terms of helping them. Well, uh, nothing more important because they are, um, they're, they're right in the crosshairs and, and uh, we have to demonstrate that we understand their vulnerability and that we're going to take action, but we're going to show it to them specifically as well in terms of the help which we'd give them. So we thank you and, and we thank all of you. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Senator.